Hey there, it's Melina Dixon, independent consultant with Pink Zebra Home, and in this video, we are gonna talk about some super awesome tips to be better organized in your direct sales business. Are you ready? Let's go. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is your office or workspace. Now, I am fortunate enough to have an entire room that I can dedicate to my business, but I know that that is not the case for everyone. So whether you have a corner of a room, a cabinet, in a room, a closet, just make the best of the workspace that you do have. But it is important that you do have some kind of dedicated space for your business. You don't want your products and your paperwork all over your house. Your family won't really appreciate that and that's no way to be organized. So while we're on the subject of office, you know, you should have a mobile office too. And here is mine. I got this at Target. I think it was eight or nine bucks maybe. In it, I have pockets to put business cards. And there's all sorts of sections inside. And some of the things that I have in here are catalogs, other brochures, like the opportunity brochure. You'll want to put some hostess packets in here. Some of the paperwork that you might use at parties. Your current catalog. That way when you're out and about doing business or when you're just out and about and you have an opportunity to do business you have what you need and so you leave this in your car and you only take it out when you need to refill it the next thing that you're going to want to set up so that you can be organized in your business is your customer follow-up system so that's incredibly important because you don't want to lose touch with your customers you don't want anyone to slip through the cracks and you definitely don't want to forget about anyone and I promise good customer service is what keeps your customers coming back to you so I personally use Evernote it is a web-based and an application for your phone. They work together, they sync. And I use that to upload images of my customer's order forms or screenshots when they order on my website. And then I use a little alert system to remind myself to follow up with them. It's easy peasy and it keeps things paperless for me. So I'm gonna link a video below to let you know um, how I use Evernote for my business. So I did say that I like to keep things paperless, but you know, I still believe in a good old fashioned paper planner. This is from erincondren.com. I absolutely love it. It's personalized with my name. And what I use this for is um, kind of to document what I do in my business. So I'm writing down mileage in here. I'm writing down deliveries that I make and just little things that I do. Um, like customer follow-up, host follow-up, videos I create so that I can just kind of keep track of what I'm doing because sometimes it's good to just look back on the things that you've accomplished. So having this really does kind of keep kind of keep my mind at ease. So if I think of someone that I want to reach out to, maybe someone that's not a part of my customer follow-up, then this is kind of where all that information goes for me. Um, it also helps me. I track social media, how many friends I have on Facebook, how many followers I have on all the different social media platforms. So I like to use my planner for that as well. If you can't handle the paper thing, then your phone will be just fine because you have a calendar and you have a note section in your phone. So that works too. I just gotta have my paper planner. So for those of you who really need direction and guidance and total organization, then you're gonna wanna come up with a daily plan for your business, a different aspect of your business that you're gonna touch every single day. Now, I don't know what that's going to look like for you. I can definitely give you suggestions. For me, I try to only go to the post office on Wednesdays. That way, I'm only doing that part of my business once a week because otherwise I'd be going to the post office every single day. Perhaps Monday is customer day. That's the day that you're going to reach out to customers to check up with them on their order. That's the day you're going to prepare any packages that you want to send out like samples or catalogs or any kind of brochures. Let's say Tuesday's your team day. If you don't have a team, then you can focus on meeting new people who wanna join your team. But for me, team day would be checking in with team members, 
seeing if they have any upcoming parties. Wednesday is my post office day. For my business, it's also Woohoo Wednesday where I like to shout out my team on our team page. Thursday can be your host and recruit day, and that's where you do your hostess coaching, you reach out to people who have shown interest on joining your team to follow up with them, see what questions they have, and then Friday can be kind of a catch all day. Tie up loose ends and get ready to rock your weekend. So we're not gonna dive completely into social media. <laughs> There's Alpine. Um, but the thing that I do want to share with you pertains to your Facebook fan pages and OMG, you're going to love this. Did you know that you can schedule posts on your Facebook fan page? You can actually use the pages app or you can do it from a desktop through your fan page. I swear it's the best thing since sliced bread. It's actually recommended that you post two to three times on your fan page and you don't want those posts to all be product related post or business related post. Um, what I try to do on my page is really just share fun stuff that I find on the internet. Um, you know, I take into account what day it is, if it's Wednesday or Friday or Monday. Sometimes my posts relate to that. But, you know, posting two to three times a day if you're busy and on the go seems incredibly overwhelming. And that is why scheduling your post is such a lifesaver and a time saver. So definitely look into that and find really good, valuable content to share with your peeps. It cannot always be about your product. It just can't. I recommend planning weeks or months of your social media on your Facebook fan page at a time. And then you can just sit back, relax, and let the post post. <laughs> the post post. But Melina, where do I get ideas for my Facebook fan page? Thanks for asking. So there's actually stuff scrolling through your newsfeed right now funny cat videos, recipes, interesting facts. Those are all things that you could incorporate into your fan page. Really, you just want to entertain and inform your customers there. The other place that I like to go is Pinterest. Pinterest, there is so much good info there. You can find fun quotes. You know, there's a video on our YouTube channel where you can see how to make your own graphics. You should probably check that out. The other place I like to find content for my Facebook fan page is on Instagram. There's so much good information there. It's all around you. You just gotta be looking for it. So when you come across something that you like, stop and save the link and then decide how you're going to incorporate it into your Facebook page scheduling system. Okay, now here's one of those tips that you're gonna be like, why didn't I think of that? So if you have a notes app on your phone, you can create a note and type up commonly used messages that you might send, text messages, emails, Facebook messages, and have all that text there ready to just copy and paste when you need it. That will save you so much time having to recreate messages, especially if a lot of your messages are similar, like, hey girl, just wanted to know what you thought of the samples that I sent you last week. I mean, why type that out? Now, I don't know if this is an option for Android, but it is for iPhone. There's such a thing as text replacement, and I'm gonna include some screenshots to show you what that looks like. So say you don't feel like typing out the word thanks. You can actually set up in your phone a text replacement. So if you type THX, it changes it to thanks with an exclamation point. That's just a little time saver. I know it's just seconds, but seconds? plus seconds plus seconds adds up to minutes. And your time is precious. Okay, so were those tips helpful? I hope you're nodding your head yes right now. Don't feel like you have to implement everything all in one day. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day and your business wasn't built in a day either. So little by little, week by week, incorporate some new component to your business so that you're more organized and so that things just really flow. That's the biggest thing. Not being scattered, having good systems and being organized makes life so much easier. Thanks so much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, you gotta do it, you gotta subscribe. That way you can stay tuned and be alerted when more good stuff gets added to the YouTube channel. 
Thanks so much for stopping by.